for the longest, the longest time it was resigned to being a feeling of defeat that the great Marvel vs Capcom 2 would never ever see the light of day after being removed back from online stores in 2013 due to the expiry of Capcom's licensing deals with Marvel. If you had bought the game already on PS3 and you never deleted it, like I did, then that was as good as it was going to get. You would just get to play it on your PS3. Now if you could get your hands on an emulator and play the game along with others in this series, then that was as good as it was going to get. Now despite the campaigns of various influencers and the fans starting various hashtag movements, sadly Marvel vs Capcom 2 was going to be resigned to history. Console wise all we had was the very much maligned Marvel vs Capcom Infinite. It appeared that Marvel vs Capcom was just going to be nothing more but a pleasant and distant memory. And then June 18th, 2024, this happened! Oh man, tell me this is really happening because I don't believe it. My prayers have finally come true because they are releasing Marvel vs Capcom Fighting Collection and it's about damn time. I saw this on Facebook via IGN, I clicked the link and had to do like a triple take because wait, hang on, Marvel vs Capcom Fighting Collection, wait is this, is this a rib? So I had a look and then I ran straight over to YouTube, typed in Marvel vs Capcom Fighting Collection and there was the official trailer from Marvel, from PlayStation and Capcom. And of course you had various reactions from YouTubers all over the place, especially Maximilian Dude. Because of course he was going to react as he has been prominently advocating for this release with his hashtag free MVC2 movement. Well, here we are. Yes, it is finally happening. We are getting all six of the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting games. X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. Plus, the beat-em-up Streets of Rage style fighting game The Punisher, making it seven in total for this collection. Now I do have to say, I own these games on an emulator. What? What the f- Yeah, I know. And whilst it's been fun to play, I just wish I could have had the proper full-on console version. So, here we are, and unlike the emulators, I'll be able to pause on the console version as it's showing in the trailers. Then there's the ability to play online, and train and practice your combos and get it down to perfection. But if you already own these on an emulator, why would I want to buy it again? Well, why? Because this is the legit console version and I am a fan and I don't mind splashing out the money for this. Plus, if this does very well, this could lead to a proper all new Marvel vs Capcom fighting game. Marvel vs Capcom 4. Can you imagine with the proper selection this time around? Let's just move Marvel vs Capcom Infinite to the waste bins of history, shall we? So you bet, me and tons and tons of Marvel vs Capcom fans all over the world are gonna buy this because we're fighting game fans and we're Marvel vs Capcom fans. It cannot be understated what a great game Marvel vs Capcom 2 and the fact that it's coming back as part of this collection and I am personally a fan of X-Men vs Street Fighter to have it all in one go, fantastic. Yes, after years of being stuck in licensing purgatory, the entire Marvel vs Capcom series is making its way back onto consoles and it is a vindication of the fans calling on Capcom to release this for years. Boy, Capcom really do drag their feet now, don't they? Now the only downside is, currently the systems that it's going to be released on are Steam, the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. Now obviously PS5 owners will be able to use it thanks to backwards compatibility, but sadly there is no Xbox version. So that is a real blow to Xbox users. Maybe they'll eventually release it, I don't know. I'm not an Xbox user. I haven't owned anything Xbox related since the Xbox 360. And I do feel sorry for fans of the game who own an Xbox and won't be able to play it. My sincere condolences. But for the rest of us, this is massive. This is big, this is huge news. No word on when the actual release date is unfortunately, which is a real bugbearer. But 
it will be this year of 2024 so once the official release date comes out fans you bet will be counting down the days until they can spend their hard-earned bucks on this game there's going to be a digital version and there's going to be a disc version i personally will be going for the disc version because that's just how i do my games i have to own the hard copies i will never trust digital online ever again even though i have had marvel vs capcom 2 on ps3 since 2009 there's still a very good chance that it could have been deleted so i'm not taking any risks so that's it i just wanted to jump on the bandwagon and give my quick two cents on the release of marvel vs capcom fighting collection now along with the excellent x-men 97 which was released earlier this year this is just the icing on the cake and like i mentioned earlier if this does well marvel vs capcom 4 yes please now the saying used to be we can only hope now the saying is Let's freaking hope so. If the sales do well, then surely it's a matter of not if, but when Marvel vs. Capcom 4 will get released. In any event, I am Cayman of Smugface Entertainment, and that was my quick video to celebrate the return of Marvel vs. Capcom with Marvel vs. Capcom Fighter Collection. I cannot wait until this comes out. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and if you want to see more, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.